So we all know there is no NBA. They're currently in a lockout. And right now I'm going to drop a top six list of things to do since there is no NBA. Hi, we're the Nick City Dancers. And you're checking out JR Sports Brief. That's kind of awesome, isn't it? So look, folks, we're outside of Madison Square Garden. There's no basketball. There's only hockey unless you're a Rangers fan. And understand this. I went on Twitter and Facebook a few days ago, and I wanted to find out the top six things you guys are going to do. Well, now I'm dropping advice. I'm dropping some JR wisdom back. And first of all, we're going to start off with this right here on the top six list. Study. I know a whole lot of you guys spend your time Thursday nights, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday watching NBA basketball. Use this as an opportunity to up those grades. You want to have a good job because Kobe Bryant and LeBron James are not going to pay your damn salary. Moving on to number two, start your own league. I already said I'm going to pick up all the homeless people in Harlem, in the Bronx. I'm going to get everybody together, and I'm going to start the JR uh, Hood Basketball League. Now, if you know a local bum or a homeless person or somebody who has no teeth, shoot them my way. I'm going to make it happen. We're going to have our own JR Basketball League. Moving on to number three. If you're in school, you should be studying. If not, you should be looking for a job. Do you know how many times I sit in a barbershop and some guy walks in talking about the NBA? Shut up. Go get a job. Stop standing out on the corner. Stop living off of your mama. Get out of her damn basement. Go get a job. It's like studying. At the end of the day, LeBron James is not cutting your ass a check. So stop coming in the barbershop talking about Magic Johnson is, is, is better than Jesus Christ. Go get a job. Moving on to this next thing. This is number four right here. Watch the Euro League. If you love basketball so much, you will watch these guys play defense and hit open jumpers and not do any damn thing else. And that's just a joke. I know the Euro League guys got game, but there are no freaks of nature like in the NBA. And what do we have here? This. Do not. I repeat, do not watch NBA TV. How many times can they play Space Jam and Fish and terrible ass movies? So if you're missing basketball, do not watch the NBA channel because it sucks. There's not a damn thing on. I mean, Rick Kamala, how many times did you watch that guy? And he's a great guy, by the way. Last but not least, learn some damn patience. The world doesn't revolve around you. It's not about you. The NBA lockout isn't about you. So just wait it out. And when basketball comes back, uh, people will be in here in Madison Square Garden and they'll enjoy Amari and Carmelo and, and maybe Chris Paul. So just wait. This is JR. What are the top six things that you're going to do? And remember, if you know somebody who has no teeth and has game, send them my way. They can play with me up in Harlem or off of like 138th Street in the Bronx. This is Madison Square Garden. This is New York City off of 34th Street. I'm going to G the cameraman. I'm going to take the camera just like this and show you guys about the garden. Give me the camera, cameraman. My cameraman is awesome. And there's Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena.